Hey guys, James with TFB TV here at Iwa in Nuremberg. I'm at the STP booth, one of the best 1911 manufacturers out there, truly. And we don't have any of your guns in the United States yet, right? Yes, uh, thank you uh, to visit me. Uh, at the moment, there are no dealer in the US who import it. We have several guns which are ATF approved, uh, which is possible to use in the USA, but we are looking for an importer. Uh, okay, maybe someone out there can, can help you in yes. TFB TV land. Yes. We're looking at the STP Loki. This is like your your base model. Your it's base, that's a base model for IPSC standard division. And we have new, uh, this model we built since several years. And um, we make a modified uh, uh, by the optic. Uh, we had a now an optic uh, ready plate. What's um, very interesting, for the most I hope, it's when you want to take it away, you have the screw here in the front, you don't must uh, take away the red dot, you have no um, changing the impact, you can just change it and continue to shoot, only um, screw it on, and there we have the, the, the iron rear side, it's, uh, it's the same system, just put it on, take it away, and you have no impact. Point of impact yes. shift, no yes. point of impact yes. shift. Yes, and, and, and you don't must take away the red dot. Right. But about most systems, you must take away the red dot, and then you can screw away the basic plate. Right, yeah. I understand that completely. Yeah. Now, bear in mind, I know that this might be boring for you, this question, but a lot of our viewers out there are from the American market. At least 60% of our viewership is in America. They may have never seen an STP Loki before. Tell me, what is the Loki? The Loki, it's um, a 2011 gun with an aluminum grip. Um, these, uh, the, the rest of the frame are tool steel. Also, the slide, all the small parts are milled. There is no MIM part on this gun. It's all machined on, on bar stock. And uh, we had also our own barrel. Uh, they are hammered barrel. Uh, cold hammer forged. Cold hammer forged, and we mill it out, turning and mill it out of a big uh, rod. It's about 40 millimeter, and then it rests a small barrel. We make a lot of chips. What and type of accuracy do I expect out of this? Uh, in, in nine mil, uh, with, uh, with uh, 75 percent of the factory ammo, we are under 20 millimeter on 25 meters. Oh, wow. We had a couple of PPC shooters. They shoot at 50 meters. We had groups about uh, 30 to 38 millimeter, 10 rounds on 50 meters. That's impressive. Yes. Very impressive. Yes. What calibers is this available in? We we built uh, the most gun we built. Uh, the, the basic caliber are 9, 919, uh, 40, and 45. We make also uh, 9 by 21, especially for Italy. We make uh, 357 um, SIG, we make uh, 10 mil, and we make now also uh, 460 Roland. Uh, back to the Loki, because again, I think a lot of Americans would be interested in this. What type of magazines does it take? Uh, it, we take the magazine from Ambix from the US. It also take uh, the double stack magazine from uh, Checkmate. Um, or, or original SDI magazine or SVI magazine, they, they fit in this gun. What's the capacity in uh, 9x19? In 9x19, uh, the mostly uh, between 18 to 19 rounds. Some when you're playing a little bit with the spring, you also can bring a 20 or you can bring more with extension button. You can gamble a little bit with the magazine capacity. Sure. Yeah. But standard, we have 18 rounds. What's the most popular caliber? 919. We make all our guns about 70% seven, uh, are 919, and then uh, about uh, 20 are 45, and uh, the 40 are about 10%. Do you think that there's been a shift in the past couple of decades from, I know you're still a young man, so this yes. might be a difficult yeah. question, but I mean, yeah. has there been a shift from 45 to nine millimeter becoming more popular? Yes, um, 
especially with the price of the ammunition and everything goes up, increased. There are more, shoot, more shooters who shoot uh, 919. Um, uh, there are several target shooters here in Europe. There are disciplines where you must shoot that you get the gun. Uh, that's the most reason why they buy a 45. But in, in case of the price of the ammunition, primers and everything, the most people shoot 919. Also IPSC, uh, many years ago in the, in the standard class, they shoot 40 major. And now uh, they show the, the most shoot nine millimeter. They must shoot better because to get the, the same points. Huh? Right. Um, yes, 919, it's, it's the major, major caliber now. And I think you understand the market for what we'll call race guns in the United yep. States is extremely competitive. Yep. You're getting ready to enter it. Why would I buy an STP over my other options? Um, the different to our open guns are we have polygon barrel. They brings about uh, between 10, 10 to 20 point more factor with the same ammo because it's very tight. And with the polygon profile, you, yes, you get more power. More velocity, right? More velocity, more uh, and uh, more um, uh, factor. And uh, we have very, uh, we have a big, uh, we have very accurate uh, groups because uh, we make the, our barrel are made on one piece compensator and, and barrel it's one piece. And um, uh, no MIM parts. No, no MIM parts. Nothing with MIM. And uh, talk to me about the trigger. What's the standard trigger weight on the Loki? Um, we, uh, the, the most trigger weight what we deliver it's a thousand gram. In case uh, the, the the sporting limits here in Germany have the most shooting with thousand grams. Two point uh, two pounds in the U.S. Yes, and uh, we deliver it exactly with this uh, trigger weight, so you can. Put it out of the box, can start shooting. You must do anything for tuning or something like this. When you buy a Porsche, you don't make any tuning. You, <laughs> you open the, the door sitting in and, and you go to the highway. <laughs> and speaking of Porsche, in a way, the STP is a bit like the Porsche of yes. the 2011, where it's all made in Germany. It's all made in Germany, yes. We are a little bit more expensive than you make it in other country. Um, yeah, I was about yeah. to say, you know, yeah, on that we, Porsche. We, we, are, we are at the open gun about uh, the, the retail price, including tax. It's in the taxes in, Euro, in Germany, including in the price. We have 19%. Uh, it's about uh, 5,000 euros. And, and for, a, for, a, for a standard gun, it's, uh, we start to between uh, three and 4,000 euros in a, in a standard gun. Sure. So it, to explain that to the Americans out there, VAT, value added tax, their tax is included in the purchase price. So in actuality, a yeah. 5,000 euro gun is really a 4,000 euro gun with 1,000 euro yes. taxes. So uh, still pricey, but uh, absolutely not uh, beyond yeah. the into the unrealistic yeah. in the United no. States. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> well, I'm always very impressed whenever I come by here. This is the second year that I have visited you. Last year was our first year at yes. IWA. I was walking by, I handled some of your yeah. firearms. I'm not a race gun guy, I'm not a 2011 guy, but I have a tremendous amount of respect for the craftsmanship that goes into this. You do an excellent yes. job with your work, yes. sir. Thank you for thank being you. on TFB TV yeah. again. Guys, thank you for watching. Stay yes. tuned for more IWA. And also he make a big drop. <laughs> <laughs>